Have you ever seen this scene? On the deck of a massive warship, there are no missile silos, no traditional gun turrets, only a mysterious square canopy. Inside lies a death ray, capable of melting a hypersonic anti-ship missile traveling at three times the speed of sound within five seconds. This is the newly revealed next-generation weapons system aboard the Chinese Navy's Killian Shan amphibious assault ship. Following the Siming Shan, it marks the second Type 071 amphibious transport dock, officially equipped with high-energy laser weapons. The successive unveiling of these two, laser giants, signifies a historic leap for the Chinese Navy, transitioning from catching up to keeping pace, and now partially leading in the field of new concept weaponry. When photographs of the square-shaped external casing, on the forward deck of the 985-class Killian Mountain, sparked heated discussions on military forums, astute observers immediately recognized its profound significance. Unlike the dome-shaped casing on the 986-class Siming Mountain, the Killian Mountain's laser weapon features a sharply angular, squared design. This configuration change represents far more than an aesthetic tweak, it hints at major innovations in energy systems or cooling methods. From an engineering perspective, a square structure facilitates the arrangement of large area heat dissipation fins, and robust power supply lines. Such a design typically indicates the system must handle higher thermal loads and power demands, making it suitable for prolonged sustained combat operations. The deployment of differing laser weapon configurations on two identical vessels reveals China's defense industry is pursuing a cautious yet ambitious strategy of concurrently testing multiple technological pathways. This enigmatic system, which has captured global attention, is none other than the Li-1 high-energy laser weapon, publicly showcased during the 2025 National Day Military Parade. It bears the evocative codename, Liao Yuan, meaning, spark that ignites a prairie fire, symbolizing the potential for a small spark to ignite a vast conflagration. Its performance parameters are remarkable, a stable output power exceeding 200 kilowatts. This figure not only far surpasses the 150 kilowatt LWSD Mark II laser weapon tested aboard the U.S. Navy's USS Portland, but also establishes China as the world's first nation to achieve operational deployment of a high-power shipborne laser weapon. The most striking feature of the Li-1 system is its approximately 1.5-meter diameter beam steering mirror. Housed within a highly integrated turret structure, that seamlessly integrates the laser transmission channel, electro-optical, infrared detection system, and laser ring finder. During simulated combat exercises at a test site in the Northern Theater Command, it demonstrated lethal capability against anti-ship missiles guided at three times the speed of sound, a mere five seconds of sustained irradiation was sufficient to melt the precision optoelectronic systems into scrap metal. This novel laser weapon possesses dual-mode lethality, combining hard and soft kill capabilities. In hard kill mode, the high-energy beam directly detonates the warheads or fuel tanks of incoming missiles and drones. Soft kill mode precisely modulates laser parameters to jam or disable target guidance systems, rendering them incapable of attack. This flexibility grants it unique tactical value in modern naval warfare. Selecting the Type 071 amphibious assault ship as the inaugural test platform for laser weapons demonstrates the Chinese Navy leadership's far-reaching strategic vision. These massive vessels, with a full load displacement of approximately 20,000 tons, often operate at slower speeds with limited maneuverability during amphibious assault missions, making them prime targets for drone swarms and anti-ship missiles. Traditional close and weapon systems exhibit significant shortcomings against these threats. Take the 1130 SUs, for example, while boasting an impressive rate of fire, each interception incurs substantial costs, a single shot can consume ammunition worth hundreds of thousands of yuan. When intercepting low-cost targets like UAVs, such systems appear particularly inefficient. In contrast, laser weapons incur electricity costs of less than 100 yuan per shot and possess virtually unlimited ammunition capacity as long as the ship's power systems remain operational. This revolutionary change enables vessels to sustain combat during saturation attacks, significantly enhancing their survivability. The advent of laser weapons has fundamentally rewritten the rules of engagement in modern naval warfare, achieving true light speed targeting. Traditional anti-aircraft missiles require precise lead calculations and account for target maneuvering trajectories, yet still take tens of seconds from launch to impact. Laser weapons achieve the ideal state of point and shoot, with the time from pressing the launch button to hitting the target being virtually negligible. This characteristic makes them particularly effective against swarms of drones. Test data shows that a single Li-1 system can continuously intercept three drones within five seconds, leaving the enemy operators no time to react. Of course, 
Every weapon system has inherent limitations. Laser weapons are sensitive to adverse weather conditions. Field tests indicate that effective power decreases by approximately 30% during heavy rain, while effective range is halved in dense fog. To address this global challenge, Chinese engineers devised an intelligent, laser gun coordination, defense system. Laser weapons take the lead in clear weather, while the system automatically switches to traditional weapons, like the 1130 close and weapon system during adverse conditions. This multi-layered defense ensures vessels maintain optimal protection under any circumstances. The deployment of the two laser-equipped warships to different theater commands for testing demonstrates strategic foresight. The Simang vessel, assigned to the Eastern Theater Command Navy, undergoes testing in the complex electromagnetic environment of the East China Sea. Meanwhile, the Killian vessel, assigned to the Southern Theater Command Navy, faces rigorous trials in the high temperature, high salinity conditions of the South China Sea. This simultaneous comparison rapidly exposes equipment adaptability issues across diverse environments. Does salt fog corrosion in the East China Sea affect lens transmittance? Does sustained high heat in the South China Sea reduce cooling system efficiency? These invaluable field test data provide critical references for developing subsequent improved models. The successful deployment of shipborne laser weapons reflects China's collective breakthroughs across multiple cutting-edge technologies. While the U.S. Navy grapples with power supply challenges for its naval lasers, China's independently developed shipborne medium-voltage DC integrated power system now reliably delivers megawatt-level electricity, providing ample energy for laser weapons. The Li-1 system employs multiple fiber laser modules, combining them into a single high-energy beam through advanced spectral beam combining technology. Compared to earlier chemical or solid-state lasers, this approach offers higher electro-optical conversion efficiency and more controllable thermal loads. The system also innovatively incorporates adaptive optics technology, enabling real-time correction of beam quality affected by platform vibrations and atmospheric turbulence, thereby achieving precise energy delivery within tactical ranges. From initial 30-kilowatt experimental prototypes to today's operational 200-kilowatt systems, the Chinese Navy's leap in power ratings measures the steady strides of its technological military modernization. The laser weapon retrofit on Type 071 amphibious assault ships is merely the beginning. Industry consensus predicts that once this system technology matures fully, it will inevitably be deployed on main battle vessels like the Type 055 destroyers. At that point, the combination of laser weapons and the YJ-21 hypersonic missile will fundamentally alter the balance of power in traditional naval warfare. Imagine this, future Chinese naval formations will feature Type 055 destroyers serving as shield ships, establishing close-range defense perimeters with laser weapons, while Type 071 landing ships function as arsenal ships, utilizing ample deck space to mount higher power laser systems. This novel combat architecture will render existing anti-ship warfare tactics obsolete. Even more excitingly, this represents merely a snapshot of China's broader laser weapon development. According to public reports, China's laser weapon research spans the entire spectrum from tactical to strategic levels. In the foreseeable future, we may witness megawatt-class shipborne laser weapons capable of intercepting intercontinental ballistic missiles. Simultaneously, efforts to achieve modularization and miniaturization are actively advancing, aiming to equip laser weapons on a broader range of platforms, including frigates and even missile boats. The unveiling of this second laser warship powerfully signals that the Chinese Navy has entered a new competitive arena. This is not merely tweaking traditional weaponry, but a true game-chainer, a defense line forged by beams of light that is reshaping the future of naval warfare.